Burgers, welcome back to some more Liverpool. And we start by the, the schedule screen. You can see the fixtures uh, in the new year. Since the January period, there's one striking thing. And I think if you just take a glance at it, you can kind of tell what it is. 21 games since the turn of the year and four games in which we have conceded goals, which means 17 clean sheets since the turn of the year. Um, I don't know if it's entirely down to Alisson's good form, but uh, regardless of what it is, it's very, very impressive. 19 clean sheets uh, in the Premier League this season. We are very efficient. Uh, you can see he's got four more than anybody else, and that has been probably a major factor as to why we are six points clear at the top of the table. That, though, may be put at risk today. Manchester United, we've not lost in the league or in, in any game, in any fixture, for a very, very long time. The last game a two under three to Manchester City so can Manchester do it again can they be the team to upset the apple cart and beat me uh one on one let's find out of course our second leg against Porto as well nil nil after the first leg which means it's all to play for today two big games this could be a pivotal title deciding day if we can beat Man United let's see where we stand with a not full strength side so this is the lineup that we're going with today and I, I would not describe it as full strength viewers especially when we're risking Mane and Salah especially in the first half for this game to try and get the absolute best out of the Henderson, actually, no, Milner's going to come on the bench with Robertson there, who's a little injured. Um, so, essentially, folks, this is what we're going with. Uh, Trent will be at right back. Matip and Lovren at the back. A Liverpool over a few years ago. Gomez and Van Dijk, both pretty tired. Not exactly available for this. And I can rest them, of course, with that important Champions League game coming up uh, against Porto. I can only really afford to do all of this because we've got a little bit of a lead in the Premier League race right now. Uh, Moreno out left back comes in for Robertson. Fabinho, Wijnaldum and Keita, a very solid midfield. Happy with that. And the front three, Mane, Salah and uh, Fabinho, all starting. Roberto Firmino in the uh, the lottery of, of put your hand in the bag, pull out a position, central for uh, sorry, a complete forward attack today. That's what we're going with. I'll do anything to get more out of him. Um, so complete forward attack. Let's see how he does. Uh, for kids on the bench for this one, as it's Balotti, and uh, to be honest, the, the bench is pretty strong. If uh, Salah and Mane are starting to tire a little bit, Shakiri one side, Fakir the other, it makes sense. But I want to start with our best eleven or our best three up top. Okay, Kevin Friend is the is the referee. Um, Good luck to him. It's, it's a big game. It's, it's it's Manchester versus Liverpool. It's one of those, isn't it? Just drinking out of my. So, do you miss it, viewers? Do you miss it? Do you want another? Se do you want another season on it? Do you want a, one more season? Oh, I don't know. I was genuinely thinking about it this morning. We do one more season with Thames. I mean, what am I thinking? If you didn't see Thames, this will be confusing. Uh, De Gea will be in goal for United then as they're playing quite a robust formation. You must say Pogba and Herrera sat in front of that back four. Pedro on one side, Sanchez the other and Lingard behind Lukaku. All right, we've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress me. A very good run lately. 30 games plus unbeaten. And this could be one of the toughest tests we face this year. All right, then the games begin. We are in the purple, they're in the red and black, and uh, we'll get the league table up. I think it's important at this point. So it's over there, then you can see, very much in the clear. United have struggled this year, it must be said. We're 20 points plus, better off than them, um, but I'm sure if there's one game they could be up for, it's probably going to be this one. 15 minutes gone, and uh, there's a throw-in. I was going to say there's nothing, but we've got a throw-in. Firmino comes a little deeper, plays it to Keita, and uh, really, the clean sheet is the, is the issue for United. We're so good defensively these days. Immediately, it's our second back four, as Alberto Moreno finds himself in some space. Wijnaldum with a shot. I mean, curls towards goal. Lindelof puts it behind, but my word, what an effort from Gini Wijnaldum. The corner now for Trent. Of course, no Van Dijk at the back post, so this probably won't work. It goes towards Salah. Pogba's going to deal with it, and that's probably over. It is. A bit concerning, viewers, that six minutes in, Lovren and Moreno no, both booked. <laughs> oh, God. It's a free kick. Trent to put it in. I mean, he's gone for goal. Graze is the top of the crossbar. De Gea probably had it covered, but even so, good effort from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Who I just called Trent in this series. I don't I don't, I don't, don't do the Alexander-Arnold, but it's, it's a very long way. Ah, good. Here we are. Right then. Well, Shakiri's going to come on in his place, but Salah is now... He was at risk of injury, and now he's got injured. And I'm, I can't be annoyed about it. People, I'm not going to go, oh, injuries are broken. They're not. He was at risk to be injured, and now he's got injured because I've... It's a throw-in. Shakiri on the pitch and on the ball. He's always been good for me when he's played this season as Trent's given the ball away to Lukaku, who had a good first touch, which is somewhat surprising. Pedro now, who has signed for United. Ball across to Alexis Sanchez. I mean, Alisson beaten as they hit the post. Nervous times. Shakiri operates in a very similar way to Salah, so that's at least good news. As the quarter's put in for United this time, it's uh, it's a foul by Lukaku and we get the free kick. I've got to be honest, viewers. I'll take the nil-nil as uh, that's what the score is at half-time. Salah's gone off with an injury. Hopefully it's not too serious. Um... Yeah, it's a high injury risk. I can't really complain. I knew the risks. I just was hoping it wouldn't happen. Uh, I'm going to say you've been... Do you know what I'm going to give it? To? I'm going to say I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. Fired them up a little bit. Alison, like, your, your clean sheet's fine. Don't be stressed. Calm. Calm down. Nil nils and one nils. That's that's largely what this team have been performing with. At the start of the season, we were a lot more expansive. And for whatever reason, defensively, we've become so solid. It equally has meant that going forward, we're just not quite as lethal anymore. Um, I play on a balanced approach. I don't play positively or attacking, so that's probably a huge factor as to why. 
That's Pogba. Well, he comes at us there, but defending is good again. As Gini Wijnaldum brings it forward. That is not his best work, it must be said. And now United get to build from the back as Luke Shaw cuts inside and uh, tries to get out of midfield. Pedro now on the right-hand side. Dangerous, deadly. Might look for goal, but again, another great tackle. Alberto Moreno with a great challenge this time. Up towards Firmino. And we can see that although we're defending well, we're not quite clicking going forward. But Alexander-Arnold's ball nearly gets its way through. He gets it back again. Head back. Is this genuinely a highlight? This is going on forever. We'll stick with it, though. Up towards Lukaku as it's knocked down for Lingard. And now United again come forward. Great ball towards Lukaku. And he's found the back of the net. Clean sheet gone. What a ball. Is that Jesse Lingard who played that to Lukaku? Outrageous. Genuinely like a stunning assist this. We'll look at this again from, uh, from a three-dimensional angle behind the goal. This ball there. Flipping heck. Lukaku's first touch is unrealistic, but it's a good finish. And Alisson forgets to dive because he's so stressed. Well, no, I'm stressed. We're going to have to start playing a little more positively. You can see that he's onside here, I assume. Yeah, he is. Played on by Joel Matip. It wasn't It wasn't a terrible line. It was just a fantastic ball, it must be said, as uh, we go to a more positive approach. And this is not what we wanted at all. Fakir might well come on uh, as well, I think, to change things around a little bit. Firmino's going to come off. Fakir's going to come on. Uh, I'm going to play him as this advanced forward. Be, every time I put him up front, he scored goals for me. Belotti and Sturridge can't believe what's just occurred. Naby Keita's furious and very frustrated and now anxious. He doesn't know what he wants. In which case, then, uh, we're going to move Wijnaldum across to that side. And uh, I'm going to bring on James Milner. He knows what these games are about. He's played for City. He's played for Liverpool. If there's one man that can step up, it's him. Our entire back four on a booking as Trent's got a free kick from Miles out. Oh, I thought it was going to flash. But it flashed wide. Well, this could be our first defeat. It's not dreadful and it's not oh oh hold hold on throw in played in cleared though oh heavens above and now united come forward on the breakaway jesse lingard he's got players left and right but he's taking it himself all the way forward gives it off to pedro now out to valencia who he knows got a good delivery got to get out to him boys stop him we force him back to herrera which i guess is good but valencia gets it back can he put a ball into the center it's blocked well blocked in fact and now mane looks for the run of fakir eric Bay's there though to head it down but when picks up the loose ball then a forward we come again shakiri there's an overload at this back post if we can find it and we do sadly and mane it's the post oh dear very stressful as oh for flipping heck of course he has five minutes to go i mean it's a it's a miracle he lasted this long viewers he shoved pedro shoved pedro not even a foul not even a last ditch <sighs> okay trent's going to the left side in fact no we won't do that we'll put um We'll put Milner at left back and we'll just, there we go. That's fine. So Milner slots in at left back. It, I mean, 1-0 down, five minutes to go, 10 men and a free kick to Manchester United. Lingard puts it in. Lukaku back post, heads wide. Allison deep. He looks for a ball out to this left-hand side and finds James Milner. That's what you've got to love about Allison. Is that ball forward towards Fakir? Doesn't quite do, like, pull off the ticket. As Fakir goes for, well, I can't believe it. It's a it's a modern miracle. We've found the goal. Gini and Alden to Fakir. I couldn't quite believe what was happening in front of me. Fakir gets on the end of it. it worth putting up front, it, it turns out. That first ball headed straight back. Wijnaldum pounces upon it. First time ball over the top. Fakir, great first touch. And the finish is superb. And Liverpool are back on level terms at Old Trafford. Heavens above, viewers. Heavens above. We're going to stay positive, though. I know we're, we're a man down, but it's not like United have put forward too much other than their goal, really. There's 20 seconds left to go, and it looks like... Oh, okay. Does it look like... Yeah, Lukaku was quite slow with that. Uh, Valencia. It's not over yet, though. Ball played in. Lovren there to clear it. Pedro. Still not quite over, if we've been completely honest. Darmian with a shot on goal. That's probably that. We come away from Old Trafford with a point before the game. I would have absolutely taken it. Another quite boring game from Liverpool, it must be said. But we will take it. 1-1 one, one the final score here then. And uh, Fakir on 87 minutes getting us a lifeline. And in terms of the league campaign and the way it's looking, it's a big point as well. Not to lose that. Fantastic stuff. It means that the ground gained is that bit less. And we still have that one point advantage, whatever happens. Of course, not without problems though. Mo Salah is out for three weeks uh, with an ankle injury, twisted ankle, so he'll be out for the Porto game as well as some other big games coming up as well. Hopefully we'll return for the end of the season as well as some of the Champions League fixtures. Uh, Moreno's banned because he's, he's a muppet, essentially. And um, yeah, he accepts his warning. We've been fined because of 25 grand for six yellow cards. I can understand that. Uh, we've also lost our assistant manager, it's worth saying, viewers. He's not around anymore. Uh, Spurs have poached him. So I'm trying to get Sammy Hippier in as his replacement. I think we can all get on board with that. All right, I'll rest the boys, make sure they've got plenty of time to recover for this uh, this game against Porto, and I'll see you in a moment for, just for it. There he is. Sammy Hippier comes in as assistant manager. I'm not going to pretend he's really good, but he does love Liverpool, and that's more important to me. He knows what's what, you know? He knows what's what. It must be said that last game for Trent, really poor performance, 5.9. you look at his last sort of seven or eight games, he's been really on top form. Actually, you can go as far back. Actually, it was a 6.7 against Juventus. But look at the performances he's put in under me and then a 5.9 United hopefully he bounces back today 
Okay then, folks. Porto at Anfield. A must-win. Nil-nil going into this after the first leg. And uh, Alisson will, of course, be in goal. Trent and Ale uh, Robertson, sorry, will be at the... Trent and Alexander-Arnold. Two, not two different people. Trent at right back. Robertson at left back. Uh, Van Dijk and Gomez in the centre. Henderson protecting in front with Fabinho and Keita uh, supporting Shakiri, Mane. And Fakir, who's going to get the nod up top after that late goal against United, I'm going to reward him uh, with a performance or, or a start, I should say, against Porto. Firmino, Bellotti, Storage all on the bench if it doesn't quite work out as planned. James Milner is going to be on the bench instead of Mignolet. I quite like to have him there. He does everything very well. Right then, uh, and by the way, we're saying uh, Oxley Chamberlain very close to returning to the first team squad. Um, not quite there yet, and wasn't registered for Europe for obvious reasons. All right then, Porto at home, nil nil after the first leg. Very underwhelming. Um, I'm going to make a little subtle change though. They're playing this four four two again, and when we played away from home, I was quite patient. We were quite—I wouldn't say defensive, but we were quite. I say we we're on the balanced. Uh, mentality, you know, not this time, not at home. We're going to go more positive. We're going to look to score. That's that's pivotal. So as the game is being then, of course, we're in the famous red. They're in their famous blue and white. And uh, with a hopefully more positive approach, let's just see how Liverpool do. They've got they've had an injury straight away. Oliver comes on the youngster. I say youngster. He's probably about twenty nine now, twenty four years of age. It feels like he's still the nineteen year old wonder kid that I remember from years ago. I mean, that's the first chance we've seen. Um, Allison has, has saved it. Now, are we going to build from the back? Van Dijk back in the sit team, you can already see, carrying the ball forward like a young Sammy Hippier. I mean, Cater there to Fakir. Lovely delivery. Oh, and here we go. Close. Can see us with a great save. But you can see there, Fakir nearly getting on the score sheet once again. as a corner by Shakiri to be played in towards that back post. Alexander Arnold headed back, heads it back across and cleared by Porto. Let's see then. Will there be a goal? Of course, any goal for Porto almost counts as double. So we've got to make sure that we get a comfortable lead under our belt. You can see the amount of games is starting to catch up with Trent a little bit. We can move Gomez out to the right hand side, bring on Lovren if we need to. Um, but so far, we'll stick with what we've got. Similarly with Fabinho, he starts to feel a little more tired when Aldum's there in case. As so Shakiri finds the back post, Mane on the edge, Van Dijk, oh, it's off the bar. How many times have we hit the woodwork in the last two games? Must be said, half an hour, well, nearly at half time, in fact, actually, and 11, 12 shots for us so far in this first half. We're certainly peppering their goal, but we need our actual goal. I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. What? Well, I am happy. I know we've not scored. I shouldn't have said it. Okay, I certainly say... Um, You've been unlucky. Oh, I'm just, I'm not getting involved. They all look, they all look switched off. Right, well, I'll shout at them to demand more and we'll see, hopefully that'll have a positive effect on them. It has. They're focused up. Okay, forget what I've said before. Just be good. Just be good. Just be good. All right, well, Alden played very well against United, so I'm thinking him for Fabinho right now makes sense. We're actually going to put Keita into the box-to-box -box role and uh, we're going to bring Wijnaldum on for Fabinho who is struggling a little bit in the centre. Also, despite scoring, Fakir is having not that much impact uh, in that striking role. Surprise, surprise. Um, with 25 minutes, maybe 20 minutes left to go, I think we might see Roberto Firmino or maybe Andrea Bellotti in a, in a more pressurised role. Well, I think we will do. 20 minutes left. Bellotti or Firmino? That's the question. Look, I've brought him for the big occasion. Big games. Andrea Bellotti. This is your moment. Okay, come on, my man. What are you gonna what are we gonna play you as? I think maybe just a poacher. Now complete forward attack. I, I'm fancying the complete forward attack today. 15 minutes left to go. We're still trying to play positively. Porto have made all of their changes. We've still got one at our disposal. We can br still bring on a Firmino or a Storage if needs be. Or maybe Lovren at the back if we take off Trent. It looks like at the moment, though, we could be going to extra time. I think that's where we're going, viewers. And with Trent suffering out there. I think we're going to get him off. Okay, it's a bold thing to do at this stage to make a change, but Trent's going to come off and uh, we're going to bring on Lovren at the back. I mean, what a decision to make. Right, okay, Lovren's coming on. Um, hopefully we can we can get the best of this into extra time. Two nil nils. It's the most Liverpool thing ever this season for us. Um, I'm going to say it's time for everyone to dig in and give everything they've got left and we'll just see. Can we best them at Anfield? I'm just expecting it almost. It's very quickly. I just want to check the heat maps. Okay, we are pretty dominant. They've, they've come down our right-hand side quite a lot where Trent's obviously been dealing with that. I wonder if that'll still be the case as we go into extra time. I'm tempted to go more attacking. I'm tempted to be the team. That take the initiative here. I don't want to open ourselves up though. That's the problem. I mean, they've not scored against us and they've not looked like scoring against us. So for the last 15 minutes, I'm going all or nothing. I'm going to try and attack them. I love, by the way, that it's April and it's three degrees. April. All right, half time, extra time. This could go all the way to penalties. That's just occurred to me. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't I don't want them. Um, Porto have done next to nothing in the game. One shot. They've had a fair amount of possession. 42% is not nothing. But I really do think that we should be putting this to bed. Lovren's come on and get himself a book in. That's good of him. Five minutes to go. Four, three minutes, two minutes, one minute left. And it's going to penalties. 
Oh, for heaven's sake. All right, well, Mane apparently is our best penalty taker. We will, we will sort this out in just a moment. So these are the boys that should be taking them. Um, a lot of the players aren't on the pitch anymore. So Mane steps up first, then Cater. Belotti's going to go in at four. Um, Jordan Henderson is going to take the third. And then we're going to have... I'm going to have Big Verge on six, just in case. Actually, Milner's not here. So hang on a minute. Let's sort this out. Van Dijk is going to be there. There we go. That's what... So Mane, Cater, Henderson, Belotti... Virgil van Dijk, that's what, I'm, that's what I like. I want the composure of van Dijk late on. I think he'll be sensational. And Alisson in goal, they're screwed. Casillas, though, I see, my memory seems to think that Casillas is pretty good at penalties. We're going to use the director cam, because usually the director cam goes behind the goal. As um, Right then, here we go. Mane versus Casillas. Both keepers wearing a similar yellow as Mane steps up first. As he goes for... Oh, it's not... A, viewers, it's not a good start. Um, the RB now for, uh, for them. Oh. Mane's missed that. I mean, after such a dominant display, I feel a little, a little. Oh, he scored. Okay, one nil Porto, and the drama continues. Cater now. As almost, we're almost at a point of got to score. Cater steps up for Liverpool. You've got to score, Naby. You've got to score, Naby. You've got to score, Naby. We're gonna be out of the chat. We're gonna. Uh, I mean, Allison, this is your moment, mate. You've got to save this, otherwise. We're in all sorts of bother. If Porto have played for penalties, they've done very, very well. As it's saved by Allison. It's cut off the crossbar. Whatever. We'll take it. Jordan Henderson now. Captain Jordan. My boy. To keep us in this tie, really. If we miss this now, it's all over. Jordan Henderson. Oh, it's a good penalty. And he, and he raises his fists and the crowd go wild. And now all of a sudden, a bit of pressure on Porto. Alex Tellis with the with the penalty. Sorry. With the goal. Oh, God. Preempted that. Allison doesn't look bothered in goal. It must be said. I mean, he was stood there very casually. Don't you think? We're still in a point of got to score. Which is not ideal. Bellotti, though. We've put him here for a reason. Andrea Bellotti. Get us back level again. Please. Oh, my God. Alison. Alison, I... This is... It's quite important that you save this, mate. It's got to be said. Herrera's coming up. I feel like he's been at Porto forever. And it's the key penalty. If Porto score this, they go through. And we crash out. That is making me quite angry. Just those stats there at the top right. They are making me a little bit furious. As Herrera steps up then to send Porto through to the next round. Can Allison stop it? He can! Okay, it's not over yet. Everyone is missing penalties. It's time for us to level things up. Okay, it's 2-1 to Porto. Hardly anyone is scoring at this point, viewers. And Virgil van Dijk, the composure of Virgil van Dijk. That is what is, what is required right now. Can he keep us in? Well, I think can he keep us in this? Okay, well, of course he can. Virgil, come on. You're a heading supremo in the box. Can you score a penalty from the same area? Virgil van Dijk scores. And this could go on forever. Oh my God, this, this is supposed to be a short video. Not anymore. Okay, and now it's the players that didn't really want to take them. 2-2, two, two, three penalties missed a, missed a piece. Oh no, no, sorry. No, this is Porto's chance to win it. Oh God, oh God. I've, what a cock up. But Rami, to win it for Porto. Oh, Alisson, you've got to go massive, my man. Alisson, please. Alisson, please. Oh, God's sake, I thought it was going to... What? <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. And you will have known this because you're watching it. Whereas I was living it. So I was very distracted. We're out of the Champions League. Can't we, can't we say unlucky, lads? It was the, it was the lottery and penalties. I mean, some of us don't even know where the balls are coming out. And we've been beaten then. Porto go through. <sighs> Pretty furious. What did I call the last episode? Treble. Was it treble related? Bloody Norlack. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. We're going to spend you until next time. This series just got a little bit more like the other series, didn't it? Oh, dear.